if we have to eat food without salt then will we be able to eat it similarly if we do not implement the commandments of god and the teachings of our lord jesus christ in our life then our life will also become like tasteless food in the gospel lord jesus repeatedly called the scribes and pharisees hypocrites because they knew the commandments of god very well but did not follow them even if they followed the commandments they did so not to build a relationship with god but to show off to the people externally they appear to be good but their hearts were far away from god their eyes were focused on god but their hearts remained focused on gifts and donations they were lost sheep who needed a person like jesus christ to be reconciled to god who could tell them that god the father was pleased not with sacrifices not with gifts but with your love and fulfilling his will god's will for the scribes and pharisees was to abandon their hypocritical lives and believe in lord jesus let us learn to live our lives not for our own glory but to glorify our god tombs are not a beautiful thing to compare with a living person but Jesus compares the teachers of the law and Pharisees with white washed tombs a tomb is a horrible place to be in when a human being dies and we bury the body in the tomb it starts decomposing and flesh gets rotten and there is horrible smell within few days scientifically big process take place inside the tomb and finally there remains only bones but outside nothing is seen and therefore we cannot even imagine how horrible it is inside the tomb jesus compares the teachers of the law and pharisees with those tombs here we have to be careful that he is cursing and condemning the teachers of the law or pharisees who are not living according to their calling according to the responsibility given to them by god they show themselves outwardly very religious and holy of holies but inside they were filled with wickedness and evil God can see even unseen aspects of our life he knows us inside out am i a real person a person bad within and showing good out let us surrender ourselves to god that he may make us genuine persons persons clean and worthy of his mercy let us walk in his path and become a good person and be like him live jesus